this shit, bro. <laughs> I'm over there dead. That shit was fucking hilarious because the, like, they were both fighting and he made you like a fool. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. His 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 pops was right there behind me, bro. So he he, are you here to ref the game or to laugh at the kids? Oh, a little bit. Obviously, I'm here to do both. <laughs> sir, sir, clearly I'm doing both. You need to go talk to your son about getting better at the game. Get to the money and slide. Get to the money and slide. Free all the bros inside. Free all the bros inside. Play with the bros, you die. Huh? Yeah. Get to the money and slide. Huh? Free all the bros inside. Huh? Play with the bros, you die. Huh? Hey man, say man, it's the Got 15 Podcast coming back, man. Volume two, man. Par who knows? And we got a special guest to my left. Go ahead and shout yourself out. Hey y'all, I'm Jordan. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at J. So Groovy. Y'all make sure y'all go follow her, show some love. Sample. Honestly, so I haven't followed her already, nigga. This is about to say this, this is this is the fifth episode. <laughs> no, the sixth, sixth episode, episode yeah, my yeah, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh, what's the business page, too? Oh, yeah. Joyful.customs. Go Shout ahead and follow business. that because hey, I got some new stuff coming. You need to be paid. Hey, you got to be active in the in, the, in our TikTok comments, too, bro, because they be looking. Uh, they be asking. asking. I can let them know. No, no okay, somebody did come asking. to me. I think I had two people come to me from TikTok. One was from Augusta, and then the other one was like Philadelphia or something. Yeah. Hmm. Right. I try to make sure I tag you. Like, anytime they be like, because anytime Chan wear his um, They be asking. Yeah, his yeah. shirt. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Need another one. But cool. I got you. For Christmas. So, um, for, Christ- for free? I'll think about it. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay, hey, okay. Shit, really good. You don't see good marketing. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, really, really. Sure. Good. I read you did. I got you. Row. Hey, I was like, hey, I look. Really she got hella views. She really got like, I want to say that those reposts too, at least five million. Yeah. You know I was yeah. Like, at least so you can put it on. <laughs> I'll put it on. I was gonna. I was thinking about asking you for one too. I was like, I ain't even gonna try it like that. I know she ain't trying to hear that shit. No, I, I got you. Shit. You bought me some good promotion. So okay, I got for you. sure. So, <laughs> <got it. laughs> um, so we finna talk about um, got some of the worst jobs we worked or some shit like that. How these jobs are bullshit, yeah. bro. You had yeah. a bad job before, Mike? Yeah. Different. I mean, I wouldn't say a bad job. I, I thought you said a tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna yeah, 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 tweet. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Mike, nigga, really? Yeah, that's all we got. Well, go no, I mean, honestly, I thought he was talking to you because you had already started to say something. I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say I've had bad jobs. It just be boring as fuck. Yeah, it's just pointless and Thanks. doing dumb shit all day. Yeah, part of the worst job. Well, it wasn't bad, but it just, I didn't know what I was doing. I was a soccer referee <laughs> for uh, Kennesaw. Oh yeah, I never knew nothing about soccer. The first game I ever watched of soccer was when I was refereeing. I was calling stuff. Was they a was terrible ref. They was so mad at me, Kids bro. Kids hated him. But I was like, I'll red flag you right now. Like, I'll kick you <laughs> out this game right now. Like <laughs> the only thing he actually knew. Bro, really, bro? That's how you see. Like yes. I took my I took my ref job pretty seriously. Yeah, bro. so did I. Like I, I I actually tried to make sure that I was being a quality ref. <laughs> Well, I think that's because you didn't you never really played sports competitively like that. That's not true. Never played <laughs> soccer. I'm saying like man. high level competitiveness. Uh, I, did. I did. I <laughs> did. <laughs> anyway, because like and then he sips his drink because <laughs> he know that shit. Yeah, yeah funny, bro. I just know like. I've been in some so many situations where like a ref would really oh, ruin really? your yeah. whole yeah. tournament. Yeah. Bro. But also, oh, yeah. these are some intramural shit. Like these niggas, yeah, there's no playoffs for them. There's no state championship. If I suited they up, still bro. take it oh, serious. I'm dead yeah. serious, nigga. Competition's competition. But like, I, I know, bro. I, you know, I used to rough kids and shit most of the day. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a kid. I'm a kid's funny as fuck. Yeah. I'm not gonna hold you because like you can really tell the difference at a young age. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Literally, most games that I ref that was like ten and below. It was either a slaughter, a slaughter, or it's like one to one yeah. or two one, or it's like ten to zero, bro. Yeah. And it was one team, bro. When I say, bro, they was just smashing. It was, it was a you know a team of little Mexicans, bro. They was kicking they, they was kicking them white boys' ass, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> this shit was bad. They, nah, they were really doing. We like like doing them. And then I believe you. The, 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 little, the, the little Mexican boys, they were so confident. Like they they talking, they talk on the field, they talking in English, talking in Spanish, nigga. The white boys just you know get, like, getting discouraged and shit. <laughs> yeah. So it's a it was like a. a a corner kick or some shit, some shit like you know what where they line up at the goal line type shit, uh-huh. and the little and and so you know how they fight, how they fight to you know uh, yeah. for position or whatever on, uh-huh. on, on the throw ins and shit too, yeah. and then and the little Mexican boy had had pulled a, had pulled a chair on his ass. Nigga fell, the kid fell, I start crying and shit, bro. I'm over there dead. That shit was fucking <laughs> hilarious because the, like they were both fighting and he made you like a fool. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. His 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 pops was right there behind me, bro. So he he. Are you here to ref the game or to laugh at the kids? Oh, a little bit. Obviously, I'm here to do both. <laughs> sir, sir, clearly I'm doing both. You need to go talk to your son about getting better at the game. That's what you need to do. How about, about you train him? That's you over here in my face. Go train your son. Go, go, go get him a trainer. You need. You're. Are you poor? 
Is that why your son sucks, bro? Is that why you're upset with me? He must have sucked. That's what it was. That's what it was. He passed it down to his son and shit. Really, but that's not nice. No soccer games were funny though. But that's it was too hot for that shit, bro. Too hot. Too hot. Soccer shit for us was too fucking cold, my nigga. I was doing shit in summer, nigga. Yeah, had to be the bitch at like seven a.m. Be there like five, four. Hey man, we gotta take a quick break from the pod to shout out this episode sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped is the best in men's below the waist grooming, and you can join people like us and two million other trusted men around the world who use Manscaped as their go-to product. Now, now we just got in the man, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0, not the 3.0, not the 2.0. Yes, you heard me, the 4.0, man. And look. If you use our code GOT15 Podcast, you get 20% off and you get free shipping all around the world. Look, man, the 4.0, the Lawnmower 4.0 is honestly the best product I've ever had in my life. It comes with an LED light, it has wireless charging, and it's even waterproof so you can shave in the shower. Honestly, like coming from a dude who's been using scissors my entire life, this is the best thing I've ever had. You never got to worry about cutting yourself, and it just keeps a smooth trim the whole way through. And look, look, after you're done shaving, Get you some crop preserver, bro. It's ball deodorant. It's real easy to use. After the shower, make sure you dry off, put a little dab in your palm, and go stupid down there. And then, look, later on in the day, you feel like you're getting a little sweaty, you need to freshen up, get you some crop reviver. Like two sprays down there, and you straight for the rest of the night. For sure. How much you was getting paid an hour? Shit, it was like per game, bro. So it, like some games would be like eighteen, some games would be like twenty seven. <laughs> like 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 depending on the age yeah. and the skill level, bro. Sheesh. Shit, nah, nah. It's definitely a good look. If you the middle ref too, the head ref get like like forty or fifty a game, bro. Yeah, the head ref be running. They do be yeah, running. And nah. You gotta know what the fuck you talking they about. Be fucking yeah. running See, bro, I never knew what was going on, but like something would happen. All the players would look at me. And I was like, well, I had to do something. Yeah, that shit happened a lot too. Had to do something. Up. They all yeah. look at me. I'd be like, fuck, I really could. <laughs> gotta be make like, a decision, bro. Yeah. It should be difficult to tell. Like <laughs> yeah. they got little ass feet. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell who the fuck kicking <laughs> yeah. that shit. Yeah. And I can't tell them. I don't know. So they be they be. <laughs> and, and, like my, my ref in the middle He gonna go off what I say Yeah And they be looking yeah, at me So yeah. I'm like shit <laughs> I'll be them forgot that I'm even a ref Like Bro, oh I do gotta way. make this decision <laughs> you, Like cause uh, you'll, you'll catch yourself Watching the game mm-hmm. Cause you're bored Like you just watching that shit And then You got a balance You're like oh shit Cause then they all It's so weird They all look up immediately which way yeah, is it? Which yeah, way is it? Yeah. 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 yeah You gotta make a decision Right there on the spot mm-hmm. Didn't you used to work at FedEx bro? Shit barely What happened with that bro? <laughs> what yeah. happened? I'm telling you, but the warehouse shit ain't no joke, bro. Like, I really thought I was cut out for it. Like, but I've been yeah. on all the white collar, nigga. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. not going to hold you, bro. Yeah. Like, even since I was young, because I, I got there, they said, let me tell you, tell you how, they, how they get you, bro. They said, yeah, it's going to be four hour shifts, you know what I'm saying? Nothing nothing too crazy. Then they got the high pay rate. It's 18 on the weekend. So I'm like, shit. Beautiful. That's butter. Oh, we lit. Then they said, oh, yeah, but, you know, just one thing to, to uh, keep in mind that, you know, if you work here, you know, you might as well go ahead and uh, cancel your gym plan. What is that supposed what to do you mean? Oh yeah, so I'm thinking, oh y'all just y'all just jiving, y'all just yeah. playing a ride yeah. and shit, yeah. nigga. Dog, not nah, real shit, bro. The first day I had orientation and then went to work, right? So orientation was like three hours, and then I probably worked for like three hours. Dog, I got that. I got that. You know, the, the little baby three hour shift. I'm like, hold on, nigga. I'm like my shirt drenched, like oh, two nah. two tone, two tone <laughs> type drenched, nigga. <laughs> And y'all know how how I sweat, bro. That shit, that shit bad. Profound. Yeah. So like, I'm I'm at work doing this shit, bro. So I go back like maybe two more days, man. I was like, yeah, that shit ain't for me, bro. <laughs> I, had, I, I had to the manager. I say, hey, look, man. I hope you understand, bro. This shit just ain't for me, bro. Can't even do I can't it. even like. I can't, can't even, even finish the week. I remember bro. the time I had seen you coming back in from working from FedEx, and you look like you came from a football practice. Bro. Dog, dead ass, bro. And then like, I see niggas in there like, like I go to clock in and sit Niggas be over there You know what I'm saying Talking He was like yeah bro I just worked 65 this week 60 I, What the fuck I just look over I'm like Bro what are you on Like what's your body made out of Like, like let me borrow <laughs> something cause I, I, I thought I was cut I'm like oh you nigga I don't you know, I play football I lift and shit You know I'm I'm a strong and, like, the, the the main thing was Them tires nigga we are here flipping 18 wheel tires. Like you, oh, nah. you load the whole back of the semi with 18 wheel tires and then uh, go load the rest of that bitch. Maybe was in basic with. training. Dog. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So that was in that basic was saying training. that shit was no hole. I was like, yeah, I got to go. That's literally training. We went, like sports training. Went right back to Pizza Hut. Like we used to do that for basketball practice. That tires. You used to play basketball? Shit. Yeah. When did you stop? <laughs> I stopped my 12th grade year because I wanted to do basketball cheer. But I've been playing since 6th grade. 
So you sixth grade to eleventh grade. To cheer for the Hoopers, bro. I was just for the sake. I mean, the coach shit. wasn't. I don't want to talk about him because he was a good coach, but nigga was shit. I <laughs> okay. The coach that I had in middle school. That, <laughs> the <laughs> coach <laughs> I had in middle school, we won a championship with him. Okay. And then he came to high school, but he coached the boys. All so right. I kind of had an attitude about that and was like, you know what? I don't even want to play no more. I'm gonna just cheer. Damn. Yeah. But the coach would have been very upset if you did some shit like that. You were on the team, and then you went to go cheer for the team instead. I mean, that, that. He saw it coming. I was already like a competitive cheerleader and a sideline cheerleader. Oh, okay. So when all that stuff started happening, I was like, yeah, I'm getting but basketball to try. But so many coaches have had like a terrible impact on players. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I really, Coach Bice, man, you got to see me, bro. You got to. Yeah. I know you're not listening, but you if really you, hate that. the <laughs> slim <laughs> chance that you are, bro, we got come on the pod. No, I'm, come I'm, on the pod. <laughs> no, nah, I'm talking about this man chair. has three guts. Right? <laughs> he's not gonna fit in that About chair, three or bro. four guts, right? And he will tell you to do all this running, all this yeah. exercise. And his voice was annoying, bro. And he he was so fat, he had to wobble he when he walked around. So. <laughs> he was a bitch. Like, that, I think that was the main thing. <laughs> and it's like I don't really like to talk down on nobody, but I ain't I ain't like that man either, bro. I loved my basketball coach, hey, especially man. in middle school, like. It was hell at the time, but Mondays, like, we did not even see the basketball. Mondays, all we did was run and lift. That was it. Damn. But then we won that championship. I was saying, y'all was good, though. Yeah, yeah we yeah. was good. We won the first good. championship, like, in the history of the middle school that year. That's hard. That's but, yeah, yeah see, I was, liked my coach. He was like was a dad. In, who was okay my senior year basketball, but not, 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 nothing too crazy. We did pretty good. We made, we made the playoffs. So, I got, a random, I got a random question. So, did y'all hear about... Uh, I guess the dude who sold Mac Miller the drugs he took when he overdosed. Mm. Yeah. I did not hear about that. So did you, do you know how Mac Miller died? Yeah. I'm assuming he overdosed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't know what you told me right there. So, <laughs> all right, so he you overdosed, say. right? And a, a dude had sold him some, I think it was fentanyl, right? Mm. Oh. So um, now the dude, he just pled guilty, and now they're trying to sentence him to 17 years, the dude that sold it to him. Do y'all think he should actually go to jail for that? Even though, of course, he sold it to him. I don't know if he knew exactly what Did he, he lace was. it? I was going to say, if he laced it, it depends he on if jail. he knew what he was buying. If he yeah, knew yeah, he yeah, was yeah. buying that, then no, he shouldn't go to jail. But if he put it in there and he didn't tell him, like, hey, this is what's in this, then yeah, he tripping. He need to go to jail. That shit was like, that shit calling spirits or something. You say what the fuck is happening? I'm not rocking with that. <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah I feel like he should go to jail if he didn't. <laughs> I feel like too many people have been getting away with that, like lacing people drugs and just letting it be what it is. Like, yeah, nah, the, yeah, the, that's the, not cool. the, the lacing shit. If, if he laced it, go to jail. If the nigga was buying fentanyl because he wanted to get high on fentanyl, nigga. Mm. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying he was, but rappers do be on that hard yeah, stuff. They said he overdosed from a combination of fentanyl, alcohol, and cocaine. Like, I wouldn't say, but have you yeah. seen? Have you seen like the amount of fentanyl it takes to overdose, bro? It, it's like it's, it's smaller, smaller than, than a penny. grain of yeah, yeah yeah like like smaller what? than a grain of a rice type shit. Isn't fentanyl? I don't know. Y'all might need to cut this out. Is that what's <laughs> in gas? No fentanyl. What you smoking fentanyl? That <laughs> she don't even smoke. I don't know what it's made out of. Weed. Marijuana. Oh. That's all it's made out of. No, I'm saying <laughs> that's fit, a, no. That's the stuff people will lace weed with, though. But I'm saying, is it in gas? It shouldn't be. Like, oh, gas like that you put in your gas. car. That's, that's methanol, I think. You, or, or ethanol. <laughs> ethanol. I think that's yeah. what I'm thinking of. Okay, okay yeah, so got, let's we, we clear it up. We cleared it up. <laughs> we were not on the same page yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. We wasn't. Yeah, I was like... Yeah. I was, I was pretty. I was like, that's what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I was like, nigga, you smoking fentanyl? <laughs> shit, nah. Hey, okay, hey, plug. Plug. <laughs> gonna drop yeah, right Stop that shit, dog. <laughs> Got too Bro, much that's time, hilarious. Bro. Shit, we're finna end that shit. It's only, we got 13 minutes. We ain't never had th- we ain't had 13 yeah, minutes in the world in, in, in a while, bro. Fuck it. And with that being said, man, it's been a Got 15 podcast, and we out, man. Peace. Get to the money and slide. Get to the money and slide. Appreciate y'all coming out to the podcast. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, man. Check us out on Patreon. Only five dollars a month. Hella exclusive content, man. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Make sure y'all already know you're on YouTube, man. And y'all check out our merch. Link is in the bio. We out, man. Peace.